hey guys welcome back to my channel so if you're new here a very big welcome and if you're not new thank you so much for tuning in again today so um yeah i just want to start by saying thank you guys for the love i received in my last video i don't know at this point if it's my last video but basically the video where i talked about my breastfeeding struggles i got a lot of love from that video and i just want to say thank you guys because i know that a lot of people go through these things just that not everyone chooses to talk about it anyways um today's video is Kind of like a follow-up video to that video because some of you were asking me what formula that my son uses so i don't know why this stuff looks big anyways who cares some of you were asking me the formula that i use for my son so today i'm going to break it down for you guys and tell you guys like how it actually took me to arrive at this formula that i use today just keep on watching to hear what i have to say okay guys so um first of all when i gave birth to both my children because Again, it happened the same way with two of them. When I gave birth to them um, and, they, and I introduced formula like the day or the next, the formula that they gave me for Kobe was um, Enfamil. That's what they give in the hospital. And then with Kaito, I was given Similac, which is really kind of like very close to each other. And yeah, so I continued using Enfamil in Kobe's case and Similac in Kaito's case for a while. And then let me just, I'm just going to try and focus it to Kaito because he's the most recent baby. So we kind of, um, I was giving um, Similac and he took it for a while. But once I, um, I got discharged from the hospital and I got home, I realized that it wasn't really good for his stomach. Like his stomach upset was on another level. I know like kids have colic and all, but I just felt like his own was really, really bad. And I experienced the same thing with Kobe. So I just thought with Kobe, I didn't really change milk till a very, very long time. So this time around, I just thought, you know what, let me let me buy something else and you know and see what might work for my son and then instead of the regular similac i can't remember the name and i went for the similac um uh what's it called is it the sensitive yes yeah, similac sensitive i bought that one but at the end of the day it was still kind of the same story like his colic was still so much he couldn't sleep at night he was always crying and fussing and then i went out and bought enfamil i believe another type of enfamil and tried it the same thing at this point i was calling my friends my family my sister and uh, my sister Oye actually sent me a milk that she was in for her son at the time i can't even remember the name right now but she bought it from the uk and she said it was really really good so um i tried it for kaito sincerely it helped like his discomfort and everything reduced drastically because even when you make that milk you can clearly tell that it has less gas than that in a in the same lack of enfamil so i stuck with that for a while i even bought some i stuck with it for a while but then eventually i still felt like he was still having a lot of stomach upset and he was supposed to be getting better as he was getting older but it wasn't in this case so by then we were already in nigeria and my mom was like even for us when we were kids for me not for all of us for me because i'm the last that she used um sma gold for me and it was really really good so and i know that at some point i started using sma for kobe so i'm like okay i'm going to try this sma again and then i bought sma guys and it totally changed my life like kaito started sleeping very well at night his stomach upset his colic it just it almost disappeared like in a whole day he might just fuss around like three times which is basically nothing for like somebody his age it was amazing like sma gold changed my life changed my baby's life like i cannot even emphasize how good that milk is guys like it's what i'm still using for him today and he's thriving and yeah so i just wanted to use this opportunity and say like i've come across a lot of like nigerians especially that just because of the whole i want to use a foreign milk just look down on like made in nigerian milk and just feel like made in nigerian milks are not like up to the task or the foreign ones are better but in my case firsthand it was not it was not so like foreign milks were horrible horrible for my case like if you don't work for any of them i've tried i, I never tried after me but i tried um three different ones with kaito and I mean they were not good for him till i ended up with sme good and in kobe's case it was actually the same thing i used enfamil for the longest time but the moment i stopped using enfamil kobe just changed like his sleeping pattern changed his fussiness reduced his colic almost disappeared like they were just happier children like i can tell how much happy kaito is right now thriving on sma gold 
and yeah i just i know one person in particular and i says things like oh and my children don't like nigerian milk my children their tummy will not accept nigerian milk what do you mean by your children don't like nigerian milk? they don't even know anything like your kid one is one and the other one one is two years the other one just a few months old how do they know what they like it's what you give them that they they take but i know society makes it seem like oh foreign milks like if you can afford to buy the the more, more, more expensive milk then you know you're part of the game or so i don't even get it but it is so stupid guys i'm sorry to say but it's just so stupid when we're trying to decide what we give our children we should take account the kids who are giving these things so we should take account like their feelings and their comfort and everything and just not do it because we want to belong into a certain group of people that use a certain type of milk it doesn't even make sense thinking about it but i'm only saying this because i know people like that with my son kobe at some point he stopped using sma gold and even switched to peak he's still using peak one two three right now and eventually with kaito i'm going to switch him to peak probably before he even gets to one just i'm only using sma now because you know he's still quite young but maybe from six months i mean if at six months my son is eating gary and soup and eating rice and eating every other thing is it now pick milk that is going to kill him pick is an amazing milk and i plan to switch to pick eventually i don't see why there is a good milk that i can buy for 1000 naira or 2000 naira then i choose to go and buy a foreign milk for 15k and my kid basically claim my children that's how i see it because milk is not good for them so why do i want to ignore their comfort ignore their feelings and just do it because i want to feel among it doesn't even make sense you guys like i'm only saying this because believe me i know people that that is exactly how they think and if you're thinking that that means you're very very selfish and you don't even care about those children that you brought into this world because their feelings should be your or how they feel should be your number one and if it's not and you're thinking about yourself and what people will think if you tell people you're using pig milk for your child or what people will think if you tell them you're using a certain kind of milk or diaper for your children then you have a problem so all i want to say is just consider your kids try out as many milks as possible if that's what it's going to take to find the one that is perfect for your child so in my case right now um kaito is taking sma good and for the purpose of this video i still have um some of the milk i bought from america the Enfa milk so i'm going to do a test for you guys i'm going to like have two bottles and i'm going to put like do two two ounces and shake it up for you guys so you guys can actually see the difference between these two formula brands so just keep watching uh, bottle these are the bottles that i currently use from kaito this and that of um what was the other brand tommy tp i think but the acolic bottle and this one is from dr brown and this bottle was amazing as much as kaito uh colic was bad as much as his colic was bad i believe that this bottle made a lot this bottle made a lot of difference guys because it has this thing that apparently is supposed to is it like sieve out the gas or something i don't even know what exactly this does but it made a whole lot of difference in his life and i still have a bunch of these bottles which i think i've not used them and i think i'm just probably going to do a giveaway and give it out to some one like a lucky winner i don't know if you have a new baby and i think this bottle will be very perfect if you have a baby that is like maybe zero to three months at that stage where the colic is very very bad so i have a bunch of this and a bunch of the other type the tommy tp one that i use so if you're a new mom or you're an expecting mom and you just feel like you need these bottles just let me know down below and i'm going to send one lucky winner all the ones that i never got to use okay so here i'm going to be testing out the enfamil and here i'll be testing out the sma go so this is the enfamil that i currently have and this one is the enfamil inspire is that if that's how it's pronounced i don't know but this is infant formula milk based powder with iron and it's their closest to breast milk it says it right here this is their closest to breast milk so i mean if you are going to buy a formula you always want to buy the one that is closest to breast milk so this is the one i currently have and that is what i'm going to be mixing let me just zoom in so you guys can see and this is the sma gold this is the small one because the last time i went to buy it they didn't have the big one i normally buy the big one because i feel like you get more with the big one but this is the small one and this retails for three thousand the small one and the big one retails for six thousand and with the m family this size retails for about twelve thirteen thousand i'm not sure this size that i currently should and that size is just a little bit bigger than this so compare prices like ten thousand naira difference between this and that one so guys so guys i'm done this is the 
um, was the SME Gold and this is the Air Formula. Looking at it right off the bottle, you can tell that with the SME, it looks a little bit mixed with the Air Formula. I can just see the milk down here, but I'm going to go ahead and give two of them a very good shake so that you guys can see, you know, how much gas each of this milk has. You guys, this is the SME Gold. I don't know if you can see, but like there's literally no gas inside here i didn't cover it well that's why it's leaking but hey i'm just going to have to clean up this mess there's literally no gas if you can see it's just there whereas with this one can you guys just see i'm so sorry how like the milk is leaking from the bottle but can you guys see how much gas this thing has like literally so guys this is sma gold and this is m Family. Can you guys see what I mean? Like, no matter how much you shake the SME, like, there's, there's no gas. And how do I want to give my child this when I can give my child this? Look at, just compare these two things. Anyway, so as you guys can see, SME and family, just make your choices wisely. Don't use because society approves of this more or because society would think of you as a cool mother if you're using this particular milk and just give your children what you don't know because i don't get why a baby's milk would be this gassy like i just i really don't get it my children are thriving with sma and so a very big thumbs up to sma and a very big thumbs down to m for me especially similar is even a little bit better but still not that good anyways that is what i wanted to come out here and share with you guys today for those of you that ask me what formula i use now you know i am a proud user of um sma gold right now so i don't know what milk i'll use in the future but right now i use sma gold and i love it if you liked this video don't forget to give it a very big thumbs up subscribe down below and you guys let me know what milk you use for your children there might be better milk out there and even more affordable milks you know so you know your girl like affordable good things so just let me know what you use down below and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys